Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God, who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. Psalm 102 Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me. When I call, make haste to answer me. For my days drift away like smoke, and my bones are hot as burning coals. My heart is smitten like grass and withered, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the, vo because of the voice of my groaning, I am but skin and bones. I have become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake and groan. I am like a sparrow, lonely on a housetop. My enemies reviled me all day long, and those who scoff at me have taken an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and wrath, you have lifted me up and thrown me away. My days pass away like a shadow, and I wither like the grass. But you, O Lord, endure forever, and your name from age to age. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have mercy upon her. Indeed, the appointed time has come. For your servants love her very rubble and are moved to pity even but for her dust. The nations shall fear your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion and his glory will appear. <clears throat> he will look with favor on the prayer of the homeless he will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a whole future generation, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord looked down from his holy place on high, from the heavens he beheld the earth, that he might hear the groan of the captive and set free those condemned to die. That they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord, and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together, and the kingdoms also to serve the Lord. He has brought down my strength before my time. He has shortened the number of my days. And I said, O oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. They all shall wear, wear out like a garment. As clothing you will change them, and they shall be changed, and your years will never end. The, servant of your, the children of your servants shall continue and their offspring shall stand fast in your sight. A reading from the Christian writings, taken from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. Therefore, my dear friends, flee from the worship of idols. I speak as to sensible people. Judge for yourselves what I say. The cup of blessing that we bless is it, is, not, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are, are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Whoever, therefore, eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner, will be answerable for the body and blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves, and only then eat of the bread and drink of the cup. 
for all who eat and drink without discerning the body, eat and drink judgment against themselves. For this reason many of you are weak and ill, and some have died. But if we judged ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined so that we may not be condemned along with the world. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. <clears throat> Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord, who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. For the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others. For the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world. Heal the hurts of all your children and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world. For the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare. for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, for the Church of Jesus Christ in every land, Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome in adversity. In all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Together we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.